Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best affiliate marketing on Instagram strategies for 2018. So if you want to make money on Instagram, whether you want to do this completely free, you can do that. If you want to invest a little money to speed up the process, you can do that as well. I'll show you both sides of that. But I'm just going to show you what you can do to make money from your Instagram account using affiliate marketing. So first off, if you're not super familiar with the potential of affiliate marketing or how well this actually works in terms of, can I make part-time income from this full-time? Can I replace my job? I'm gonna show you two examples of a couple of internet entrepreneurs who disclose their earnings online publicly and show you how much of it is affiliate marketing income, just to show you how much you can make. All right, so one is at smartpassiveincome.com. I recommend you check out this website just, you know, because there's a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, if you like my content, you might like some of his. It's by Pat Flynn. But when you go to the uh, earnings and the income reports, you can click up here to see all of the income reports. Uh, you can go through any of them, and you'll notice there's a pattern that affiliate marketing tends to earn a huge chunk of it. So over $100,000 in this month in just affiliate marketing. As you can see here, over $105,000 in one month. That's more than most people make in an entire year. So that is over half of his income, which was 167,000 plus that month. And if you go through the different income reports by going up here and clicking, uh, the income reports button up there, then you will notice that it's a common pattern. You know, he'll even go through and show you kind of the different, you know, programs he does. So there's a lot of different affiliate programs. There's there's some like Lead Pages, Market Samurai, Teachable. They have their own affiliate program. Or there's other ones where there's like Amazon, Click ClickBank, and other websites where there's a whole lot of them on one website. But just to show you, you can make millions of dollars from affiliate income alone. Here's another example. It's called eofire.com, which is a podcast by John Lee Dumas. It's called Entrepreneurs on Fire. And here's one of the months here. He talks about, you know, creating his own uh, products. They make a lot of money as well. But you'll notice that the affiliate income right here is a big chunk of it and it looks like it's 36 percent of the income so you can do the math that's about 124,000 just under that for that month and 36 percent of it is from just affiliate revenue that's even after doing all these products and stuff like that so a lot of these people, they start out with affiliate income, but it still remains one of the best ways to make money. So the first thing you wanna do is find a good source of affiliate products. So here's a couple I recommend, especially if you're just getting started in this. One is ClickBank. You can go to clickbank.com. They have a lot of products to choose from. As an affiliate, not a vendor, a vendor is someone who puts the products on here and pays you commissions to promote them. Um, you are an affiliate. You just promote these links. You get commissions for helping them get sales. So you would go to the affiliate marketplace. Then it just depends on what kind of Instagram account you have. Do you have like a lifestyle entrepreneur type of Instagram account? Maybe like Alex Becker. Do you have like a photography business or do you sell your own products like GoPro? Um, do you have your own magazine like founder or whatever? So there's, you know, there's fitness Instagram accounts. There's, you know, some if you know, you just have fans of you. There's people where they do like makeup tutorials. There's all kinds of different accounts. You can do art. You can do, you know, gaming, whatever. Um, so it just depends on the type of account you have. I recommend you stick to a certain category. If you need ideas for your categories, you can go through here and look at different categories. You could do sports highlights and uh, funny sports memes and stuff maybe. So if you were to do like sports, 
you could go through and see they have like uh, products for improving your golf swing, you know, and you can make different accounts as well. But here's 17 pages of just sports products that you can be an affiliate for. You could do, let's say you wanted to do, um, you know, cooking. Cooking would be great for Instagram because it's very visual. You could do all kinds of different cookbooks and recipes and how to cook and ebooks and stuff and be an affiliate for those products. So quickbank.com is a great place to go to find affiliate products. Another one is Amazon Associates. You can go to affiliate-program.amazon.com to find these types of products. They have pretty much every product imaginable. You can do books, you can do electronics, you can do apparel, you can do home goods, you can do, you know, jewelry, whatever on Amazon. They pay you up to 10% commissions, as you can see down here, which may not seem like a lot. You will definitely earn probably bigger commissions on ClickBank, but a lot of these are products people have never heard of before on ClickBank, so they need more marketing. Amazon, people already know what these products are. They're already uh, seeing major retailers like Nike and Samsung and Black & Decker and stuff like that on Amazon, so they already trust the company and they're more likely to buy something on Amazon than from a vendor on ClickBank. So even though you get less from the percentage of the commissions, they have very high-end products, they have low-end products, you have all kinds of stuff that you can sell and you're more likely to get a sale probably from promoting Amazon products than just about anything else. Like I said, you can also promote as you know, uh, Pat, Flynn is, Pat Flynn is kind enough to show us they have a lot of different affiliate programs that are from you know the company websites and stuff as well that have their own programs. So there's a lot of different ways to promote stuff. If you're a beginner, Amazon Associates and ClickBank are the two of the best because they have millions of products. Um, so for instance, if you want to do this on Amazon, all you would have to do is log in on affiliate-program.amazon.com Join now for free, click log in there. And then you will have this thing here called a site stripe. So let's say you wanted to promote this uh, laptop. Um, you would have this site stripe pop up up here. As you can see, this big gray bar up here at the top of the page. And that shows you are signed in as an affiliate. So you can share on Twitter, share on Facebook. But when you're on a page for a specific product, it automatically has a link generated. So what you would do probably is text link, and then you would put that in your blog post, you would put that on your Instagram photos, on your Instagram profile, stuff like that. So I'll get more into that in a minute, but that's the basic idea for finding affiliate products. Next, you want to post once or twice a day on Instagram, because if you post more than that, you will probably be seen as a spammer or you know just somebody who only cares about marketing and stuff like that so we have a thing that we call shelf life in marketing on social media so for instance on instagram the shelf life of a post let's say you're looking at this post all right so you have one it says one day ago here's one one day ago all right here's another one what is it? Two days ago. See, looks like Alex Becker probably post, you know, that one's two days ago, twice a day. All right. Three days ago. Under the like section, you can see how many days ago it was. And of course, you can also study your favorite Instagram profiles and see how often they post, but most of them are going to do like once or twice a day. All right. So, you know, here you get GoPro five hours ago. Here's another one. 22 hours ago so it looks like they do twice a day as well um, so every you know 12 hours or so maybe post on Instagram most of the time you want to keep it stuff that's not marketing material um, as far as the optimal times and all of that there's a great resource at coschedule.com that breaks it down for all the social media sites and what they did is they took pretty much all the studies and did a um, study of all the studies combined so then they came up with the best results out of the combination of studies so one to two posts per day is what's recommended 
one post in the morning right before people are going to work in school, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in your time zone that you're targeting. Um, post two would be at around 2 a.m. in the morning. The reason being there's less competition, so you're more likely going to get it seen. So Instagram, um, one to two posts per day, probably two posts per day for optimal traffic and things like that. So when you're posting, you want to do 80% stuff with no strings attached, meaning things like quotes, pictures of scenery, pictures of you doing something cool, behind the scenes stuff, whatever. 20% um, promotion. So you could be promoting your latest blog post, your latest product that you're promoting, stuff like that. So let's say like you looked at Founder Magazine, for instance. They're a perfect example of a very popular Instagram account, 1.3 million followers. They haven't even been around that long, just like a few years. And here's what they do. Quote, you know, something that promotes their business. Quote, quote, quote quote, 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 something promoting their business, quote, 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 something promoting their business, quote. So you get the idea. They'll do like, you know, four or five quotes for every promotional item they do. So they might promote their latest podcast episode, their latest magazine, um, you know, stuff like that. You would promote your latest product that you're doing a uh, affiliate pro promotion for. You might do a you know, latest podcast episode, you don't have to directly link to it on Instagram. That's what a lot of Instagrammers don't understand about affiliate marketing. You don't have to directly link to it in your profile or in the description. All you have to do is have a link to like a review of the product. So like in this podcast episode, they could be reviewing a product and then give out like a short link to the affiliate product if it sounds good. Or like this, maybe instead of the magazine, it's just a blog post. And then people would read that blog post. If they decide they want to get the affiliate product, they can buy it through your link on the blog post. Really, Instagram is just a way for you to get traffic, all right, and to get branding. So 80% quotes, you know, images like GoPro, these things get shared a lot, just these cool images and stuff scenery is really good um, if you're more of a lifestyle person you could do pictures of you with famous people or a picture of you in the past or you doing something funny whatever memes that type of stuff that's not promotional and then 20 percent of the time do something that helps you make money then you want to link to products or your lead magnet for getting subscribers you can also link to a blog post or something now, if you want to do this for free, you can do blog posts on LinkedIn, all right? So if you were on LinkedIn, which is basically social media uh, for professionals, you get a free account, click write an article, and then you can do your affiliate product review or comparison or uh, top 10 products, whatever. There's a lot of different types of affiliate articles. Usually it's like a top 10 list or like a review of a specific product or a comparison of, between that product and another product. So something like that, and then you would have links. So let's say, you know, here you typed in laptop, you know, get the laptop here after you have a long article reviewing it or something. Let's see, you know, laptop review, whatever. You have a picture of it, pictures throughout the article. You could do a YouTube video embedded. Uh, for free, of course. All you have to do is highlight it. Click the link here and get the link from clicking text right here. And then it'll be like, it'll be like am, it'll be like amz.co. slash, you know, whatever. Something like that is what it'll look like. Then you click apply and then it'll, you know, be clickable. So, that's how you do links. That's how you can do free blog posts. If you want to embed a link in your images, you can use like Bitly and track the uh, clicks by shortening it. You just paste your affiliate link right here that I showed you how to get from Amazon. You can get it from ClickBank as well um, or whatever program that you're promoting. Paste it here, click shorten, 
and then you can track the clicks on how many times people click it and then you can try different ways of marketing now you can put that in the image so for instance instead of this saying let's say you clicked on this post instead of saying founder dot here or founder down here you would have a link to that product and in the description I'll show you let's say you were on this one um, instead of saying founder.com slash tools guide you'd have a link to your affiliate product it might be bitly and then you could even tell them in the description like hey go to the profile press the link in our bio right there see that press on the link in our bio and then they also include it there because it's not clickable but it's clickable in the bio so you can change it to this in your bio and they can click that and go to your review on link on your linkedin blog on your real blog on whatever and that's how you can promote it you can also do it with an email uh marketing platform like get response if you want to collect subscribers this is one of the best ways to ensure that your business lasts you collect subscribers by giving away something for free like this tools guide see how it says get our free tools guide then they have a link well that means they're probably going to give you something for free you put in your email and then they can send you the latest articles and stuff via email so then they can you know promote affiliate products that way you can uh, promote them using the blog post platform or you can link directly to them using something like bitly and then putting it in the image at the bottom like right down here or something so those are three different ways to promote it as links if you need ideas for getting images you can find for instance if you wanted to do quotes obviously quotes work well just look at the shares on these quotes you know thousands of shares or likes whatever you want to call those um, you can go to brainy quote find quotes that have to do with fitness if you have a fitness profile or self-development if you have a self-development profile or photography if you have a photography profile whatever you can do links um, you can do uh, quotes to all kinds of stuff you can do images whatever videos and then if you need a background that's not copyrighted already you want to be careful with that stuff um, go to Google type in something like beach or whatever you want to use as your quote background click settings go to advanced search click uh, not filtered by license it's under usage rights click free to use share or modify even commercially click advanced search and then these are ones that you can use without having to worry about copyright okay so that's how you find background images this is how you find quotes and stuff and then if you want to create a photo that is optimized for Instagram with the right uh, size and dimensions as far as pixels then you would go to quotescover.com go to quotes maker in the top right corner type in your quote you know whatever I'll just type in some gibberish stuff right now click next step and then it will give you the option right here for the Instagram post or Instagram profile so you want to do Instagram post and then do it that way as your um, dimensions for your quote so they will help you create you know quote images faster or other types of images faster and then you can download it by you know finishing the design so there you go that's how you do links that's how you create images and stuff like that you can also get more followers for free by following people and hoping they follow back now I don't recommend doing this long term it is still not a great way to do things because you don't know if they're following you back because they like your stuff or because you just follow them because you might unfollow them and then they unfollow you so then there's no point but uh, you just need to find ways to get your first you know likes and get your account growing so I would recommend promoting your Instagram profile on your blog whether you have a WordPress blog or a free blog using LinkedIn maybe at the bottom of your post uh, you know have a link to your Instagram profile I would promote it on your other social media profiles um, you can promote it like in the in the bio on your Twitter profile for instance or something like that um, just even 
doing advertisements, doing cheap ads, even like maybe five or ten dollars a day, you could get a bunch of followers pretty quickly if you have good content. And then you can stop the ads and then just, you know, post to them. So those are some ways that you can get followers at the very beginning if you don't have any and you just need those first few. Um, other than that, that's about it for um, affiliate marketing on Instagram. I feel like the rest of it is uh, fairly straightforward. If you want to be able to edit your photos more and use a free method, one thing I do is Google Drive. Um, it's a great place where you can just sign up for free with your Gmail account. You get like 15 gigabytes of free storage. You can use Google Slides. You can um, use uh, import an image right here. It, you know, put in a text box right here and click create a uh, you know a quote image using like a quote from Brainy Quote and maybe a background image from Google Search using the uh, non-copyrighted method that I showed you and then you can edit it you can change the lightness or the brightness of you know contrast all that stuff of the image you can try different backgrounds try different text colors different fonts um, then you can put like your you know affiliate link at the bottom or a link to your review of that product at the bottom or something like that um, so that's another way you can edit them. But other than that, that's, that should at least get you in the right direction for doing affiliate marketing with Instagram. If you thought this was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. If you want to let me know what you thought about the video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. And uh, also feel free to suggest something I cover in the future or whatever you want to uh, you know, suggest. And then I will have links to the resources, you know, more information and stuff on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com for this specific video. And hopefully that will help you get the ball rolling and get getting your first uh, commissions for affiliate marketing on Instagram. So I also have a link to that in the YouTube video description if you want to find that page that has all the show notes. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.